Hey folks, Nathan here. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use our UVTT import and export features to flatten the map down if you're having performance issues. So the first thing we want to do is head to export map, select universal VTT and initiate selection. Then we want to select this nice area here. And if we want to keep the right quality, which I'll assume we do, we want to go to 256 pixels per inch. File format will be UVTT, and then we click on Start Export. We can call this anything, but for now we're just going to keep it as Town Prison. It's going to take a bit to think, and then what we end up with is this here, townprison.uvtt. So what we want to do now is go to Import, UVTT, and select that file. It's going to think for a bit while it loads it in. And you can see here we have the exact same map with barriers and lights all in there. And it comes in as a group object. So now we can pretty much just hold down control, move it over the top of this one. Just line it up perfectly. There we go. And now we want to lock this top one, select everything underneath and hit delete. And now we just have a single group object with some barriers and some lights. So if we ungroup this, you'll be able to see that the image layer is just one single image and we have all our barriers and lights separate. So the reason that you do this is you've got a bit too little performance on your map, so you want to turn all of your images into one single image and go from there. Right, and that's how you can use the UVTT export to increase the performance of your maps. Thanks, bye.